Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Web Form. Today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of Shopping Cart Project. And in this project, I'm going to show you how to add uh, uh, some uh, additional things like uh, username will be show after the login. So uh, on the label that is a welcome label dot text will show uh, welcome message and also the username. Uh, you can say the email ID of the user. So welcome and in which you can add uh, that is the uh, uh, string uh, manipulations and you can add session uh, of email okay so just after that you have to see uh, logout button uh, session abandon and response to re redirect to the other page that is the home page you can see home.aspx okay and in the card button you have to send a cart id so cart dot uh, aspx so response dot redirect cart dot aspx there is the card dot aspx okay if uh, session of email is not equals to null then uh, redirect to the card.aspx otherwise uh, redirect to the home page response dot redirect home page so home.aspx will uh, oops no uh, not a home page actually it's a login page actually so login.aspx the similarly thing we can uh, do with the order so you have to say that session email is not equals to null then uh, go to the order page order.aspx otherwise you have to say that login.aspx okay that's pretty simple and now run your uh, project uh, home.aspx hey, there is a login it's working fine yeah there is uh, name will be not display actually it's a uh, four color so logout is properly working so in the four color uh, you can say add a property that is the four color of the welcome label so welcome label dot four color equals to uh, color a uh, color is a uh, enumeration in the system dot, uh, dot drawing package so system dot drawing dot color dot white and again you have to run your project to see the output yeah uh, login yeah welcome plus kumar at the rate of gmail dot com it's an absolute looking so just go to the again and remove the string yeah there is welcome and string okay so fine um, logout login and to say yeah there is okay that's fine now after that you have to again login to remove the plus sign you have to check yeah there is okay so uh, when we click on the cart button and order button uh, there is a 404 and uh, uh, some error records so all uh, links are properly working but uh, cart is not properly working so just go to the section of description page product description page and uh, remove the button and add a hyperlink control the text of the hyperlink control is view more but the navigation is navigation url is binding url you can say so uh, percentage symbol sign hash eval sorry it's not eval uh, redirect to the page that is the product description page with the query string you can say so the query string uh, uh, in in the product description that is the id property so evaluate the id property 
so eval and the id okay so this pretty simple save this win browser yeah view more and id is one and qu quantity if your product description having not acquired a string then display the text box and the button control so simple thing you can add request dot query string of id is not equals to null then response dot redirect if it is null then response dot redirect home page so there is home page view more yeah there is which you have to id property of the page there is request dot query string of id is double equals to null then response dot redirect to the home page now add another uh, column in a car table that is the product id so in the car table you have to go to the definitions the table definitions and add a product id property to add the product id into the car table product id okay now after that you have to add product id and the pid property in the sql parameter just add the parameters another parameters for the product id that is the pid and the getting value of the pid from the query string you can say so just copy that in the paste load that is and paste it here and similarly the email is getting from the session so session of email dot to string okay so and if the result is greater than zero then uh, response dot redirect uh, on the order page you can say uh, because the card table is the fine so uh, res if result is greater than zero then go to the card page so result dot uh, sorry response dot redirect with the card page card dot aspx okay that's fine now you have to say to run your project again click on the view more button quantity oops there is not login into the system again you have to check the cart the product description page if you want to add some item into the cart then must to logged in into the system so uh, before uh, uh, just after the clicking the button you have to check first of all session email is not equals to null if session is email is not equals to null then go to the response dot redirect login page login dot aspx okay that's good uh, that's run uh, then run your project again and you have to check your credentials view more button and quantity is one add to cart again click yes that's working fine and click on it view more quantity will be add one yeah getting an error oops name it's not matching with the product name so okay i understand that actually the id property of i i won't i was i did not use the id property of at here in the product description page so just open and see and use that uh, name product name label instead of product name okay that's fine and you have to run your project again to see the output clearly to add these item into the card table so view more okay 
be more and quantity will be added yeah it's uh, working fine because the cart is rendering cart.aspx is rendering i mean to say that that item will be added into the cart table you have to check it into your database table so thank you guys for watching this video and uh, next watching for the cart and the order thank you for watching this